very good day to all of you. I am Ipa with the channel English with Fatmali. Well, I am the non-native speaker of English. Non-native me, English is not my first language. As I am working on the series of the borrowed words that are taken for English language or the English language absorb the words of different languages due to different interactions into it. I am discussing them one by one in different videos. Today is the turn again of the borrowed words that are taken from Urdu and Hindi languages. Um, as English is an international language and it has to cope with all the nations of the world and, it, and with the people that are talking with, uh, that are dealing with different languages, that's why it's taking all the words for the convenience of different nations and different languages to cope with it. So um, the words that are taken for the first the first word um, that I came across in the Cambridge dictionary was Allah. Allah is basically an Arabic word and it is used in Persian and then it uh, makes it way in Urdu as well. Um, the word God is used for Allah in English language rather than Allah. They have taken Allah um, actually. Um, why they have taken Allah, there was a lot more controversy about it. That we can, um, as we think that Allah is almighty and it has eternal powers. So if we will pronounce it God, it will become, uh, we can uh, change it into plural, we can change it into, um, we can change its gender as well. Like we can make God to gods and uh, goddess, but you cannot change Allah into plural or you cannot change its gender. So the first word is Allah. English has taken as it is and it is considered an English word now because it is included in the dictionaries and if a thing is included in the standard language it becomes their word. Second word is Guru. Guru definitely is a Hindi word when uh, Britishers made colonies in the different uh, parts of the world, subcontinent Indo Pak was one of the colony of Britishers. So, as the people of subcontinent Indo Pak were trying to cope with the Britishers by learning their language, as well as what Britishers were doing, they were also adopting the manners and the words and the languages. Guru basically is used for the Hindu pundits. And, uh, and now it is used for a very skillful man, especially the master of some skill that is called Guru. And if someone is very uh, skillful in his or her work, he or she is called Guru. Uh, like um, you might have come across with the term English Guru. Anyhow, the third one is Jungle. There is no jungle like word in English. It is forest, it is called woods, but jungle was predominantly used in subcontinent Indo Pak. So it is now the substitute of forest and woods, and it is very much a part of English, and now jungle is included in English language. Same is the case with the word loot. Loot, loot means uh, rock to steal or to take something without permission. So loot is a Hindi or Urdu word and it has taken the shape and, and uh, now definitely we are using it, it and we are using in English structure as well uh, that they are looting uh, their native, they are looting their relative wealth, they are looting um, whatever, loot me, roll. Like uh, they are roving, so same is the case with looting. When we will use ing present participle with it, we can use it in um, participle sentences, present continuous sentences. So the looting, loot is now an, an English word. Again, the word is khaki. Khaki basically is a color that represents uh, the dust like color. As the soldiers, soldiers of the army wear the uniform of this color, 
so this color is very uh, much used and in vogue and this was called khaki uh, still it is called khaki in pakistan and india and um, they call it khaki uniform the soldiers are wearing wearing khaki uniform so khaki is the part of english language now so the third one for your consideration is khushi khushi definitely means happiness so um, khushi is a term khushi is a word that is used in urdu language and indian language there is a very interesting thing in, um, that you have to notice that urdu and hindi are very much similar actually urdu language is the transcript or the uh, script of urdu language is written from right to left and uh, the script of hindi is written from left to right and they are called it devanagari actually uh, they want to um, they don't want to make any similarity with pakistan or with muslims that's why they have used this um, script for their writing uh, almost when they speak when the people of pakistan and india speak the language it almost seems alike so uh, anyhow this is another problem this is not the topic of discussion we are discussing the words that are been uh, that have been taken for english language um, into from urdu and hindi there is a very interesting word jugaad jugaad basically when you want to uh, fix a thing um, by anfa means or by uh, using little resources or by using in another method that is not standard that is not specific for that that is called jugaad Mm, Jugaad was very famous in subcontinent Indo Pak. Now it is included in English language. After Jugaad, mm, the word is Banglo. Banglo word Banglo is not an English word. It has taken from basically uh, its origin is Bengal. B mm, the wooden structure and the houses that were made for English officers at the time. Uh, at the time when a uh, subcontinent in Nepal was the colony of Britishers, mm, the wooden structure that is made for officers of uh, officer of British army mm, is called bungalow. So bungalow is very much included into English language. Again, the word is kamar bang. Kamar bang. Um, you can say you can call it a belt kamarband is a persian uh, word and it has made its way into urdu language and it is used in uh, shalwar kameez basically and it's not an english word and you can see it as the alternative belt kamarband it is included in english language but it's not an english word so for your consideration these are few words uh, that i have taken for your Mm. for yourself that you can check that these words are not english word and they are very much the part of english language now there is a long list of words you can google them you can check them if you are dictionary lover you can check them in the dictionary as well actually if i um, make a wrap up of all this all the session of it it is that english is very really much necessary to learn in this scenario now because um, social media is replete with this language when you have if you have to do any uh, kind of business with other nations you must be selling your friend right is used everywhere in the world and if you want to cope with any situation with anything you have to learn it and you must know that how this language is working and how it is absorbing um, as it as the word is becoming a global word so the global word needs a single language and this language that was absorbing and consuming the words of all the nation and of all the languages hope this video um is very really interesting will be very really interesting for you till the next video very really good bye to all